How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so my friends and I have finally managed to organise a day and time for our virtual movie night. We've also decided on a film. Uh, we haven't had it yet, it is coming up in the next few days. I'm not going to say exactly when because well, that doesn't make any difference. This is going to come out after it's happened regardless. Um, but yeah, it only took us six months to organise. <laughs> We're so bad. Um, and it's been one of those things where we'll start discussing it and then no decisions will be made because we'll get distracted by just general conversation because we haven't spoken to each other for a while um and then we won't speak to each other for a while <laughs> but somehow we managed to actually set a date we've actually decided on a film and a good way for us all to watch it together um yeah i'm looking forward to that uh this this is the level of my life right now <laughs> but it should be fun um i think we're planning to have a whatsapp chat going or something um so actually video call whilst it's going on as well which is a bit different from how i usually do virtual watching with people um I'm usually typing rather than actually on camera or anything like that so it's going to be a little bit different a little bit more unusual um kind of curious to see how it will go um just because we're watching a movie together so i don't know i don't know but it should be fun either way um i'm as i said i am quite looking forward to it uh it has taken us a while to actually organize we're not terrible people, we're just, we're just a bunch of introverts. I think that's a lot of what it comes down to is we are just introverts and introverts, you know, we're not necessarily happy being on our own all the time, but we're not necessarily thinking about socialising either. Um, it's one of those things where we're all like, oh yeah, no, we, we know we're there for each other. We know everything's good. We don't you know, need to constantly affirmate that our friendship is alive and well. <laughs> it's nice too when we do catch up to actually catch up, but we don't need that constant affirmation that everything is good between us because, you know, we we trust that, you know, our friendship is, is still there. Um, I'm not saying that extroverts can't do that, I'm just saying it's it's a different process for, for everybody and I think the thing with introverts is we're very good at knowing we have that there without it having to specifically be said and it's one of the reasons why I always feel that although the wonderful, amazing, awesome Jade is definitely more introverted now than she was when I first met her I still think she is more of an extrovert than she is an introvert because she does need that constant reassurance she might be able to cope with long periods of time on her own she might not feel like she needs to be socializing um, as much now as maybe she did when she was younger um, I think a lot of that has, is more down to various things that she's gone through, various things that she's experienced, um, feeling a little bit out there in terms of her uh, personality and her interests, um, and just the general stuff that she does have to deal with um, on a day to day basis, um, just because she's living the type of life that she's living. I think she's, I think she was probably always that weird borderline, um, I know there is a name for it for people who are kind of both extroverted and introverted and it's a bit of a weird word and I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head, never mind how to pronounce it, um, and I would argue that that's what she is, she is someone who is very much on that borderline where she can live 
but happily enough as an introvert, but I think there's enough extrovertedness to her where actually maybe she would be better off socialising a bit more. Um, but at the same time, I respect her decision not to do that because at the end of the day, it's her decision whether or not she's being social. Um, even if I feel like it would be beneficial to her, I can't force her to go out and socialise if that's not what she wants to do. In the same way that nobody can force me to go out and socialise if it's not what I want to do. And I'm not saying that I don't want to go out and socialise. Certainly, I'm at the point now where it would be really nice to meet up with my friends in person again. Um, either we were to go out for a meal, actually go to the cinema, um, or just like meet up somewhere outside, probably socially distant safe. <laughs> you know, it, it's... Um, it's very much, I, I've kind of reached a point where it's been almost a year since I last saw any of my friends, and I'm going to say it's been almost a year, because um, I can't remember exactly when it was, um, it was either January or February last year, uh, one of my friends and I did actually go to the theatre together, and I'm fairly certain, no, I have seen, <laughs> no, no, wait, that's a lie, um, Last time I saw any of my friends would have been last, I want to say last October? No, I, I, I so I, yeah, no, I, I, I did go out with a meal with some of my friends last October, um, because one of them was, was down visiting, yeah. But apart from that, I've not seen them <laughs> That was twice, twice last year I saw my friends, and I know... I'm not great at seeing them. I, I think we usually usually average maybe four to six times a year, depending on the year. Sometimes it's more, very rarely less. Um, so last year was definitely the least I'd managed to see my friends during the course of the year, um, which is why I almost forgot that I did it twice. <laughs> Feels like I only did it the once. But yeah, no, last last uh january was the last time that um i you know I, I i have a definite solid remembering of doing something a little bit different with uh one of my friends and then the the meal in october i, I want to say october time um being the last time i actually physically spent time in the company of my friends um so it's a bit, yeah, it's, it's very much, it's very much like that at the moment where I'm, I'm kind of at that stage where it would be nice to actually meet up with my friends in the same place at the same time, even if, you know, we, we were like socially distanced properly and everything like that. But I don't want to chance it right now because um, some of them work uh, jobs where they are in particularly high, high risk of coming into contact with things or have been in contact with things um so it, it, it's one of those situations where i would like to but i'm not sure it's the most sensible thing to do at this moment in time um and obviously as a group we have to decide what's best for us as a group and if we can do other things like a virtual movie night then we we need to try and actually do that and not take six months to organize it <laughs> oh, six months is a very long time to uh, organise a single movie night. Our next one will probably be in 2025. <laughs> um, but to be fair, I think some of the reason why it has been so difficult to organise is because for all of us it is that kind of second option we don't you know we're, we're all adults we all live very separate lives most of the time we all work um we all have very different working hours uh because of the types of jobs that we are working um so i think because of that we always do when we can put a focus on actually meeting up together so trying to organize something where we're not physically meeting up together probably I mean, I, I, you know, I can completely understand the feeling of it being like a full substitute to what we would normally be doing. Um, but at the same time, it would be really nice to, 
do an activity with my friends. So like I said, I am really looking forward to the virtual movie night I've got coming up with them. Uh, it's it's been a long time coming and it should hopefully fingers crossed be pretty fun. Um, however, it sort of shakes out. <laughs> I mean, obviously this is going to go up after it's already happened. Um, so yeah, that's, that's very much how things are right now. Um, I know it's been another one of those just babbling about pretty much nothing kind of ones. Um, I could be doing a lot of talking about my writing at the moment, but giving you guys a break from me talking about my writing and just talking about some life stuff in general. Um, and obviously everybody is very much affected by this world situation at the moment. Um, how soon it takes to resolve everything is still very much up in the air. Um, things are in some ways looking more positive and in other ways looking pretty much the same. It's all really dependent on your outlook. Um, and how you choose to perceive the situation that we're in as to what point we're at with everything right now. So it would be nice if at some point in the near future things are looking a lot more positive, but if they are still the same, that's just gonna you know, that's just how it is. Um and there's not not a whole lot I can really do or anybody can really do about it at the moment, apart from, you know, try to find positive things to focus on that are not related to the world situation such as virtual movie nights with friends yay <laughs> all right okay so i hope you have found this one sort of interesting even though it's been a very babbly kind of one again um i If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!